aid you in your journey. Good. Let us be off. We will accomplish much good together. I'm sure of it. Um. I thought I had that fixed. Okay, what do you have? I'm listening. Get rid of that. Actually, let me keep that up here. Um, let's put that over there. Or up here. Let's put that up there. I'm going to let him fight defensively. Uh, because it only is on melee attack rolls, and he's going to be attacking from ranged. That. These are going to go here, here, no charge, no, 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 no. Alright, so let's go up. So that's a deflection bonus, so it does the same thing with the rings do. I only have one of the rings. Alright, sweet. Let's get those are good. Let's get the hammer. Let's do that. Um and then we have another one here. On that. And let's give him this is a couple of these. So his old person, which is really good. Yes, this way. Alright, let's separate these a little bit. Just letting me in track. We should be really close. Ah. So 487, and he's already at level 3. Yeah, he's going to be 487 experience in front of me. Whoops. Whoops. I did not mean to click on that. Okay. There we go. I was trying to click that. Okay. I think we're all set. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Almost forgot. Important stuff to do up here. In due time. Yeah, got the secret hidden room up here. Potions. Vendor stuff. And green ingredients? Yep, green ingredients. Mmm, okay. This one is, let's see, there it is, a token of the dragon, okay, that's a story item for later, and here we go. Okay, um, I think... Did that already? No, oh, I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to show completed quests. Okay. Um, all right. I guess I gotta go back to Oleg's and talk to Jihan then. Yeah. Well, I 
did find the Temple of the Elk. So I guess I gotta go talk to him about it. Okay. I guess that's next. Not enemies. Enemies on the road and apparently outside too. I heard the police sirens going by. Uh, we have. Oh, if you dare. We have. My oh, good. This will hurt. Please don't poison everyone. Thank you, Amiri. Gosh. Okay. Skin. Oh, I lost the hair of the hoops to all my nature checks before. This might not be the quickest way, but I wanted to connect the Ford here. Right, no, I can go up here now. I'll walk through this way. Nope. Yeah. Now I'm getting sidetracked. Quite what I wanted. May we have a oh, moment? Okay. Ten just a file to see if we can use this piece. Quick. Oh, you are you are not supposed to be in melee combat. Do I have anything you can use? Ah, oh, you can use the bows. All right. I'm hungry. Okay, buy him a crossbow. Better. Stop. Ah, man. Yeah, I don't have a good more nature person, so I'm failing all these checks to get the skins for these animals. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Okay. So close. bread I can't believe it all this time when we sat in cages and crawled in the mud there were places in the world where they were baking fresh bread and here we are I bet they have clean sheets and maybe we can even take a bath roll can dream um to be honest the food here is not very good depends on what you compare it to after the swill they gave us the technically a royal feast awaits us you do so much for us is it all because you are kind or maybe well now maybe it's because you've been charmed by my beauty um so this looks like it's the beginning of the romance quest chain with octavia um i think we're just going to be friends okay fresh bread and clean sheets Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, listen, this is Oleg. Listen, there's, well, since you dispatched the bandits with such skill, maybe you can help with, uh, help us with another problem. A feral swine living here in the woods, not a normal wild pig. We're talking about a vicious boar, as big as a bear and wicked as a devil. The locals call him Tusk Gutter. Many hunters have lost life and limb to him. Beckel Benzin found his lair and went to kill the beast, but came back with one leg. That's not good. He put a bounty on the boar's head, but it looks like there aren't any heroes around here bold enough to claim it. Maybe you will rid us of this monster. Hey, we're better than the local wussies, right? Want to bet I can chop off this tusk gutter's snout with a single swing? Come on, let's find out. Um, I think we have enough to do without bothering him. 
Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Come on, listen, they sent us here to make things right. The bandits is one thing, but we are still supposed to get rid of monsters, too. And a reward is a good thing. Yeah, that's a solid point. Good point, Amiri. Uh, seems you're dead set on slaying this boar. Is this something personal? Oh, really? Oh, I need a roll of five. What? No, nothing like that. I just, well, cut it. This pig teared off a good man's leg. This must be avenged, right? Or next time he tears off someone's head. Okay. All right, let's go to the tusk gunner. Tusk gunner's lair has been revealed. Right, that's the way I like it. Let's do it. Okay, well, we got a new quest out of it. I do what I must. Um, talk to you. Show me your wares. Offer. Yep. And longsword plus one. Uh, this, I don't know anyway, it's going to be used. That can go. Not sure about the short swords. Well, nothing that I have. Oh, I shouldn't look at my... Not sure if I have that. I may use that or not. Uh, that can go. That's the. Oh, I need to use that too. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess it's lots of money. I need. Do you have a masterwork light crossbow? Or. A masterwork heavy crossbow? No master, oh, yeah, he does have a masterwork heavy crossbow. Take that. Give that to my cleric, who is out here. Is, I don't want him in range, so I'll do that because he doesn't wear armor. Um, let's go ahead and give you this. These bracers grant their wearer an armor bonus of plus one, just as though they were wearing armor. So basically acts like armor without any of the penalties. Okay, cool. And then who uses intelligence? I think you, you use intelligence? Yeah. Let's give that to you. Boost your intelligence. Um, no, we'll stick with the bastard sword. That that would be more damage overall, but I'd lose a ton on the sneak attack damage. I just need better daggers. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's see here. Do you have anything? Um, He has one masterwork dagger. I mean, dart. And add your strength bonus to damage with a bow. Interesting. I have a curt range on that. Okay, yeah, I think we'll just stick with what we got for now. I'm sure we'll find something soon. Um, and we gotta come over here and talk to you. You're gonna give me experience too. Oh, yeah, I saw you. <sighs> Okay, so yeah, he's basically a cleric vendor. Okay. I found the Temple of the Elk. You finally returned, my good friend. Christian told me how you helped him at the Temple of the Elk. Thank you for heeding my request. My heart is calm and filled with confidence that I've followed the will of my God. I would like to reward your bravery. I possess no treasure, but please... Take this as a token of appreciation. Okay, cool. A couple of scrolls and a bunch of experience. As far as I know, your next target looks to be the stag lord himself. With the temple of the elk cleansed and evil, the fog 
surrounding us should disperse to reveal the path to the brute's lair. Of course, magic so powerful is unlikely to disappear all at once. Bide your time. Follow up on other concerns while you wait. I will gladly aid you on your noble quest. The rascal himself foresaw our need. Do you understand the true meaning of your visions now? These visions, they were the voice of a rusty himself. Quiet, clear. That's a really loud horse. I believe the Rastu had turned his back to me. Now, I see clear. He has shown me divine mercy, for he has led me to you and invited me to aid in a fellow priest's deliverance. Lady Sarah and the Rastu walk the paths of the gods hand in hand. So must their servants as well. Tristan is undoubtedly still very young, and youth is a time of naivete and confusion. But I see kindness and strength of spirit in him, traits indispensable to a priest. I sense that all that's transpired thus far is only the beginning, and the future promises great things for Tristan and for you. This is why Rastu led me to the temple of the Elder. Day and night I pray for you and for my young friend. May the stag God lead you down the true path. Okay. That's as you wish for now. Um, is this voice acting too? That's why I'm here. Oh, but I already did that. Okay. As you wish. What exactly would you like to know? My story? Why not? You deserve to know it. I am a priest of Arastu. And Galt is my home. You can imagine what it's like following the teachings of the stag god in a realm torn by discord and strife. Rebellion and suspicion are the pillars of Galt. Led by a rasto, I try to guide my flock to embrace tranquility and balance and guard them from hasty judgment. Until I fell from grace myself. Hmm. Foolish, Interesting. foolish, foolish. Ah, my misdeeds cast a shadow over my life. Right back. In search of redemption and a balm for my soul, I took to the road. I had come nearly to despair when Karastia sent me a vision of the temple of the elk. I knew that very moment that the stag god had shown me the way to redemption. Um, okay. Well, if you truly wish to know, I'll have to start a long time back. Werewolves <laughs> preyed upon the lands around my village. They burned the people for fun and sport, and left the corpses to rot in the roads. One night, they broke into a young woman's house and dragged her into the streets. One evening, a traveler came to our town, tattered, dirty. Days on the road, like so many others, young and gold. He sat quietly in the corner of the tavern, drinking. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Hold on. I knew he was a devil. I felt it in my soul. It was like the last year himself had whispered into my ear. Led by Providence, I left to gather my I want to see if I can fix something here. Uh, graphics. Full screen, borderless window. Hmm. I thought that would already do that. Click over here on my other screen and it would stay there, but apparently it cannot.
Okay, back to here. I flocked, and we surrounded the tavern. Oops. The retribution. The retrib. There we go. Sorry. However, I was tragically mistaken. The young man was no werewolf. He was a bandit sent to spy on the village by one of the local gangs. We only found out after when we went through his things. Well, I mean, he might not have been a werewolf, but he stopped a bandit, so... Right? Still save the village from another danger? That's still no excuse for my actions. I was a fool. I made a grave mistake. And what's worse, in the eyes of my flock, I cast doubt on the master's greatness. A priest who can barely hear the voice of his god is a disgrace to his lord and himself, and corrupts the very people he would save. Well... Whatever the case, I knew Erastor was no longer pleased with me. It was terrifying. Hmm. Imagine how my mind raced when here in the stolen lands I heard the voice of the stag god once again. He gave me another chance at service to atone for my guilt. Now I have regained hope, and that very hope is my most precious possession. Cool. Uh, you can tell me about homeland? It's a land of freedom, where power belongs to the people, not to lords or kings. For others, it's a land of never-ending revolution, a realm surrendered to anarchy. It depends on who you ask. For me, I found Galt a vibrant place. Crowds eager to lynch a stranger for that accent or appearance, where a single word uttered at the wrong time or place can spark the people to riot and sins to burn. For me, it's the place inhabited by the frightened and the desperate, always suspicious, watchful of trickery. All too often they are deaf to the voice of reason. They cannot grasp that chaos and lawlessness lead only to yet more chaos and lawlessness. All my life I've tried to break through to this poor people, but alas, I don't see them making much progress. Uh, okay, that's As enough. you wish. Uh, okay, let's move on. We might talk to him some more later. Um, let's see. We need to go... Oh, I need to go in here. I think I need to talk to her because I found yeah I found this ring. Good day, hope you're feeling well. All right, after battle, I can't thank you enough. Do you have a request? What did you want to ask me? A uh, very personal request, and maybe not important enough for your time. I'll completely understand if you say no. But for the but the first time the stag lords thugs came here demanding money, they also took my wedding ring, just tore it off my hand. It's just a trinket, really, but it meant so much to me. I remember every moment of the day Oleg came to me that ring in hand to ask if I'd marry him. I was standing in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's home, fearing that I had misheard something, or that I'd say something stupid and everyone around would laugh. If you happen to find my ring among the bandit's possessions, please bring it back to me. It's easy to recognize. My name is engraved inside the band. There is one more thing. Among the bandits is a dark-haired woman who wields dual axes. She's not bad in a fight. In fact, she can be extremely dangerous and cruel. But please, I beg you, show her mercy if you have the chance. Well, um, about that. I found your ring, Svetlana. Kressel, the bandit woman who had it, tried to kill me and died in the fight. I suppose I should tell you the truth about her. Kressel wasn't her real name. Her real name was Irina before all this. She was the daughter of my mother and her second husband, my half-sister. I can't help but feel like everything that happened to her was my fault. She always had a wildness to her. She'd wander the streets, hanging out with a bad crowd. Until the day she passed, mother complained about Irina constantly. Back then, it was just a cruel, it was just cruel games and strange escapades. She never really hurt anyone back in Restov. Her father didn't live much longer than our mother, so I decided to try and help Irina. I brought her here to the Stolen Lands, though Oleg was against it, and once here, she immediately fell under the Staglord's influence. She never even needed to meet him. The stories and rumors from local hunters and bandits were enough to win her over. She would tell us how he was a real leader unlike Rostov's softies. 
Eventually, she ran away, only to return under a new name with a pack of thugs to collect taxes from us. What's worse, she participated in the torture and execution of prisoners alongside the Stag Lord's minions. Hey, there we go. That was fine. You know. And now, meeting such an end, I realize you did what you had to do. Perhaps it's all for the best, but still, I wonder if everything could have turned out differently. Thank you for returning my ring to me. I truly appreciate it. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a little while. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, sorry. So we got some camping supplies, some experience, and I think... Oh, that wasn't... Oh! I thought that was enough to level, but I need 85 more points still. Okay. I need to go rest. I don't know why I did that. I can just push R and rest automatically from anywhere. Okay. Um, do I want to put anything in here? First letters, let's do this. Uh, if you don't wear armor, you don't wear armor. You wear light armor. If you're already almost encumbered. If I give you this, it's going to be too heavy. Well, and you have that. I guess I can give you this. A tiny improvement. Oh, I'm not gonna use him. I'm gonna take that from him. Who is my highest perception person? Because I want to give them the cat. Five, six, seven. Maybe I give it to her. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give you the cat then. Oh, I'm taking this stuff off of you. you the cat. The, uh, the cat is a um, DLC item that was added. Gives you a plus two morale bonus on perception and more nature checks. She, she doesn't do more nature though. Hmm. Let's give her a bonus on perception. Um, actually, maybe I'll give it to you. It would help a little bit. Yeah. Actually, I think we might do that. Let's do that instead. It would be a bit more useful there. Because it would also benefit his lore nature. Um, okay. I don't think... Alright, for now I don't think there's anything I want to put in my chest here. Actually, I'm going to split these. I'm only going to keep six of these in case I need to make some kind of emergency rest. And we'll put the rest of them in my chest. Um, anything else? I need to talk to you also. Can I help you? Uh, well, since you're asking, there's a cave nearby. I used to pick berries in there, but the place has been overrun by spiders. The berries are red and look a lot like raspberries. Fangberries, I call them. I'd be real grateful, grateful if you gathered a basket of them and brought them back. Just be quick. If you do, they spoil quickly. Okay? Spiders in the caves are mean. Here, let me give you some alchemical fire. Crafted it myself. Burn those spiders to a crisp. That will teach them for taking over my Fangberry Cave. I also need a bucket of moon radishes. They're a rare and mysterious plant. I don't know where to find them, but I know that kobolds gather them and value them highly. Okay, it's not a huge deal. I'd really do it myself if I were younger. But if you're willing, I'll pay you three potions for the berries and a purse full of coins for the radishes. Sure. All right, I'll try to help. Oh, he's also a vendor. What do you have? He has potions. 